Hello, thank you all for coming. Uh, my name is uh, Bradford Nixon. Um, and as you're all aware, um, I am a, a PhD candidate at the University of Phoenix uh, in person. Uh, this is online because of the pandemic only. I swear I was going to in classes in person, University of Phoenix. Um, candidate for PhD in philosophy. Um, and to get my PhD, I'm going to do a thesis on um, answering the top eight impossible to solve philosophical questions according to gizmodo.com. One is, why is there something instead of nothing? Um, so in the Matrix, like Keanu Reeves was in a computer. Um, and the computers made there be something. And Elon Musk also says that, so I'm going to agree with that. That's why there's something instead of nothing. Two, uh, is our universe real? Um, I'm going to say yes for that. Uh, so I had actually tested that myself. I thought, hey, you know, if I punch this guy and nothing happens, it must be fake. Um, and I punched the guy um, and I got a couple months in jail. Um, he's actually sitting on this PhD thesis right now. Um, sorry about that, Professor Rockwell. Uh, it won't happen again unless I think about it again. Three, do we have free will? Uh, my boy Will was in jail because uh, he also punched a man, um, but he's out of jail now. Um, so I think he's free. I know he likes urinating in public, but I'm pretty sure he's free right now. Four, uh, is God real? Uh, yeah, I saw her outside, um, of a Denny's at 3 a.m. Um, I was on a combination of substances that I legally can't mention because the judge said I should not inspire anyone to do it again, but she's real, um, and her name is Michelle Pfeiffer, um, and yes, she is wearing the Catwoman suit. Five, is there life after death? Uh, so that same night I met Michelle Pfeiffer, uh, I actually, my heart stopped for a couple of minutes, um, and I'm here right now, um, so I'm pretty sure there's life after death, because the doctor said I was legally dead for two minutes, um, but then they gave me the same combination of substances that I'd already had, and that brought me back to life. It was like a control Z type situation, I think, doing it a second time. Like two two wrongs make a right, two negatives make a positive. So yeah, there's life after death. I'm I'm am sitting here right now. Six. Can you experience anything objectively? Uh, yeah. I'm super unbiased. Um, I'm very fair when it comes to everything. Uh, kind of dumb of you to even assume that I wasn't objective. I'm so good about that kind of stuff. Don't even worry about it. What is the best moral system? <laughs> Libertarianism, man, come on. Eight, what are numbers? Uh, that's a that's a toughie. Numbers are, at the end of the long day, they're the voice that says, oh, honey, how was your day? And then they're the same voice that will just destroy you emotionally, like you're doing great, and they're like, oh, you got to do this for me and they'll gaslight you and it's just awful and you're like numbers what do they even do to you and they're like you're not putting enough effort in the relationship brad and you're like but sarah i'm doing my best um coming to my uh dissertation um i know none of you are doctors either um so if you could like give me the phd i can you know pay it forward uh, libertarianism so yeah thank you um, and God bless uh, the Cayman Islands thank you